Jason White, good performance objectivity is like something that most people consider as good performance. For example, if you beat the S&P 500 return index with your stock choices, then a lot of people consider that success. Sure. Would you say in cryptos that you need to beat the performance of Bitcoin to be considered a good investor in the crypto world or in the crypto world? Or is merely being profitable good enough? I know this is a very shallow question because it's only referring to the monetary returns. So here's the thing, uh, Jason White. Uh, look into Jonathan Nitsan. Okay. Differential accumulation, right? The philosophy of differential accumulation. We put out videos regarding this. And Jonathan Nitsan and the person he works with I, that name i still haven't been able to get into my head uh, their whole thesis and their economists their whole thesis is it doesn't make a difference what you're doing what your returns are if your returns are below the averages all right so if inflation on the most basic rudimentary level, if inflation is 3% and you're getting a return of 29.9%, okay, in the limit, you have zero, right? You don't have anything, right? So what you need to do is you need to beat inflation, right? Whatever imaginary inflation numbers they're putting out or whatever it is, right? So you need to beat inflation. But... Jonathan Nitsan took that a little further. Jonathan Nitsan et al. Okay, the rest of the gang involved with that. They took that further and said it's not enough just to beat inflation, you have to beat the averages. Right? So if the average return in let's say Wall Street is five percent and you're playing that game, you're only investing in Wall Street and you're making four point five percent, right? then you're losing because in, in the limit, you lose everything on the Wall Street game, right? Now, a lot of people think diversifying means diversifying within a certain field. So when you talk to people who have investments, they say, you ask them, oh, you know, and I've done this because I was in it for a bit, right? Not officially, unofficially, right? Uh, and they say, oh, yeah, we're diversified. We own mining stocks. We own um, food stocks. We own retailers. We own uh, tech uh, company stocks. And, uh, and they call that diversified, right? That's what they'll sell you at a bank, right? You need to diversify your portfolio, right? But one thing you'll... If you pay attention you realize is they're all stocks this stock this stock this stock this stock this stock this stock even though they're different fields they're all stocks so they're all dependent on the stock market having some kind of returns in a normal situation which it would have but right now the stock market is bubble territory to a certain degree right so if you're diversifying why in the world would you just diversify within a certain field right so you're asking me you want to know what good returns are just in the crypto world right well you have to take a look at there's 2000 plus cryptos out there take the average of the cryptos figure out what the average return has been for in the last six months whatever period you're looking for and measure yourself according to that but you would be a fool to have a hundred percent of your investment just in the crypto market just like you would be a fool to have a hundred percent of your investment in the stock market in wall street right to me diversifying doesn't mean investing in different baskets of the same system right you need to diversify into different systems right that makes you anti-fragile so if you've had here, here let me tell you why that is right for the longest time the game in town was wall street right invest in wall street if you did five percent return and by the way over an extended period of time if you got five percent return per year on wall street you were doing fantastic if you got seven percent you're doing phenomenal right so let's assume five percent let's assume uh 
a good performance in Wall Street was 5%, right? And that was great returns, right? People, yes, I'm doing great within this field. Meanwhile, outside of that system, the Wall Street system, if you were really diversified, maybe you would have bought some art, right? Because art has had a return of greater than 20% for the last few decades, right? So for those in the art investment business, those fools that have their money in Wall Street and getting a return of 5% per year are exactly that. They're fools. If you pick the right art to invest in, you would have got returns of 20% per year. Why would you want to be in a system that's giving you 5% per year, right? Extend that to multiple other fields and then kick it up to cryptos, right? So there's a lot of people that have money in Wall Street getting returns of 5%. Right now, it's probably, I don't know, whatever it is, 15%, 20% per year or something like this. But the crypto industry is giving you a return of Bitcoin was $3,000 last year. You're getting a return of um, 10000 sitting at $50. $50. 1666 percent right return five percent 1500 percent five ten twenty percent what what has the returns been in the last year in the stock market oh it's gone up a hundred percent hundred percent on the dow let's say right it's not 100 percent 75 percent 80 percent it went from 18,000 to 31,000 right it has to reach 36 to make it a hundred percent return in a year cryptos returned 16 times right so you want to measure your performance in the crypto sector relative to the others or you want to measure it relative to anybody else your measure for your success should be not be relative to others as long as i, I know we're talking about differential accumulation right but it really depends on the field you're in and, and keep in mind getting 10 times your return 20 20 times your return in a year is not something you should be expecting on a yearly basis if you are you need to get out of that econ economic system because you're talking about hyperinflation if you're investing in a system that is profiting trying to stay ahead ahead of a hyper inflationary scenario then you need to diversify into investments that are not subject to hyper inflation okay it's there's so much at play man 